This is Verizon calling. Replace this battery now or we'll drive you insane with this beeping. It will continue forever. So I had the Verizon unit, the Fios, and the battery fail just like everybody's does. And I think the cost was around 50 bucks. I really didn't want to pay it. So real quick, what the battery does is if you lose power, it really doesn't keep your internet going. It's designed to give you telephone service. So that is important if you're an elderly person or you don't have a cell phone. But the reality is to use the battery during a power outage, you've got to run down and press that button right there on the bottom that says battery emergency use. So I thought the system was a waste anyway, and I realized that this battery was dying every other year on me. I am going to give you the best secret to stop the insanity with this beeping, and you'll never have to deal with it again, and it costs you nothing. Nothing. All right, this is my disclaimer. If you take your battery out, the risk is on you. I'm not telling you to take your battery out. I'm just telling you how I did it on my unit and that I do not need a battery. And in most cases, you probably do not either. So first off, you can see all the other videos that are online. People are opening up their Verizon Fios units. They have soldering irons, tape, cutters. They are destroying their Fios units. And when they end their service with Verizon, if Verizon realizes they've butchered their units, those units have fines I've heard of 500 bucks and up. Don't do it. There is no need. I'm going to show you something that is going to take you 30 seconds and it works. If you notice, the first thing you've got to do, go to your unit like I'm doing here. Pop that door open and what a surprise. I have no battery. The secret for making the beeping stop exists in you. So all you have to do, disconnect the battery, take it out, and that's it. There is nothing else to do. Do not push the alarm silence button. You don't have to push the test, none of that. Take the battery out and wait. In about 15 minutes, the beeping will stop and it will not continue. If it does, you can unplug the unit, plug it back in, and in most cases, it will never beep again. These units were clearly designed to operate without a battery as well, but that is up to you. I have heard there are some units this will not work for. However, every person I've spoken to, this has worked. All you have to do is take the battery out and you will have peace and quiet and Verizon will not get $50 from you every other year anymore. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click like and also subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos. I'd really appreciate it.